Good morning, everyone. Today, the World Celebrate the World Diabetes Day were adopted in 2018 and 2019. Why it's an important day? What about the blue color and the theme of this day? Many advices from this month, Diabetes Day. Let's watch it in this report. Good morning, Victoria Eva, and happy Diabetes Day. Good morning, everyone, and welcome from Desmond Diabetes Institute, and happy World Diabetes Day on the 14th of November. Victoria Eva, why it's important to celebrate this day? This is a very special day. So it was first initiated in 1991, where it uh, was celebrated by the International Diabetes Federation and the WHO. It got in 2006 the first non-communicable disease to get the United Nations resolution. It is a day that is celebrated for the birthday of Professor Charles Best, who co-founded the discovery of insulin. Today, we have 100 years since the insulin discovery. Prior to this, many people with type 1 diabetes didn't make it. So it's a special day that we unite together to improve this uh, access for diabetes. It's celebrated by our blue logo that you see in this man and everywhere. And why it's a blue? Because it's unites us like the sky, unites us together for United Diabetes. So what is the theme for uh, 2021? So this is new. 2021 is about time to act. It is to access of care. We really want to improve all people with diabetes to have a better access of care. Unfortunately, there are still people who are not accessing their insulins or do not have access to the therapy. So we really have to work together and unite to improve the access to care. We want people to come for the screening and to have access to all diabetes care that is available today. We need some advices for those who are affected with diabetes. So let's look at things. So we have today type 1, type 2, gestational diabetes, and many other genetic diseases. With type 2 diabetes, we can prevent it and we can um, uh, put it in remission. So in this one diabetes institute, we have a special research that's around the remission of diabetes. So even if you're diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, within the first three years is a golden period that you can actually, by losing 10 to 15 kilograms of your weight, you can put back to, you know, impaired fasting glucose or get completely, you know, remission in diabetes. With type 1 diabetes, we have special programs like the Daphne program, which is the only program that is uh, uh, in Dasman uh, is for the training for the whole of Middle East. It's a structured education program for all people with type 1 diabetes. They can refer themselves to the Daphne program. Uh, this is a special program where it teaches you all by life activity. What do I do with my insulin if I am exercising? What do I do with my insulin if I'm eating out? How do I match my insulin to my carbohydrates? What do I do if I get sick? What do I do if I get immunization? What do I do if I get my period? What do I do if I travel? So it's all about you know improving the access to care. So many of the things that's happening today to improve education and awareness and improving access to care. Can we talk more about the effort made by the Desman Institute? Absolutely. So here we're delighted at Dasman Diabetes Institute to focus mainly on research. So through research, we can advance, you know, our science and then we can advance our care for people with diabetes. So we have a huge research looking at the effect of the brain uh, uh, diabetes on memory and concentration. Many people say, I have some problems with issues of remembering. So we're looking at brain MRI and biomarkers. If we can predict people early before having any changes. Also, we are very much uh, focused on the lifestyle and how I can improve the prevent of type 2 diabetes through weight loss, through improved activity, through research in the gym, by doing improving your insulin resistance exercises, through muscle strengthening, and many vitamins and supplements that we hope that will improve the muscle strength and exercise. Everything is put in randomized controlled trial. So only when we participate in research, we would know the effect. And it's a, a call for everyone to be part of the research so we can improve the people's of uh, care for people with type 1 and type 2 and all people with diabetes. Finally, what is your message on this day? So, 
Today is our celebration of the World Diabetes Day. Let's get together and improve our numbers in Kuwait. Let's reduce the numbers of type 2 diabetes. Together, we can stop it by 60%. Every one in two men over the age of 50, they are at risk of having type 2 diabetes. And 50% of the people will have diabetes and being undiagnosed. We need to be more aware of diabetes. We need to improve technology, move for at least 10,000 to 12,000 steps. Do not get overweight. Really look and watch your weight. Watch your food. Avoid fatty food because we know it will cause fatty liver. Something huge that we are seeing in our research. And most importantly, improve your sleep. Sleep is highly linked also with diabetes. So let's change our lifestyle together and let's unite together. Let's celebrate it. I want many people wearing blue, many people passing the messages and those people with diabetes to go and speak to the people how they live with diabetes. We have to move together to improve the diabetes. Let's light all our activities in blue and let's celebrate by increasing awareness to every member whoever you're going to speak to and improve the diabetes care, it will do benefit for the populations and for the society. Thank you, Dr. Leiba. It's a great pleasure to be with all of you here and thank you all. Let's have Diabetes World Day free of complications with improved access to care. Thank you and have a good day. Thanks, uh, Destman, the Diabetes Institute, for all the effort, and thank you, dear viewers, for your watching, and happy Diabetes Day.